so today is gonna be a really fun day I'm going to the pumpkin patch with Amanda I haven't gone to a pumpkin patch in a couple years but today is a gorgeous day we've had very gloomy weather here it's been rainy and so today is like a nice cool crisp fall day but it's like sunny and beautiful and I'm so excited um, I'm getting ready for the day and I wanted to show you just the whole process um, mainly focusing on my hair so thank you credo beauty for sponsoring a portion of today's video they are having a sale from the 19th until the 23rd of october so right about the time that this video goes up and they're having 20 percent off site-wide credo beauty has like a bunch of different brands on their website so just go ahead over there and check them out these are the ones that i have been using and have been loving all month long i got these I think at the end of September and now yeah I can't believe I cannot believe it's the end of October already I feel like I'm in a time warp um so one of the things one of the products that I've been using recently is the Lola V shampoo and conditioner I've been wanting to try these for so long because this is Jennifer Aniston's hair brand and I just number one I love her number two her hair is iconic so I just know that like or I knew that whatever she would come out with was gonna be amazing because I just she has amazing hair so um spoiler alert it's been amazing and i've been loving these so i got the restorative shampoo it's already like not half gone the conditioner is half gone because i use a ton of conditioner but um yeah anyway this is just like a really good daily hydrating shampoo i guess not daily you can wash your hair as often or not often as you want i've been washing my hair every day recently um the last probably like four months I mean, sometimes I like go every other day. Sometimes I go every two days, but I prefer my hair every day now. I don't know. I go through phases, um, but I use this and then I use like a little scrubby for the scalp just to help with hair growth, stimulate the hair follicle, all that good stuff. It's just a really good hydrating uh, shampoo. And then I follow up with the conditioner. This I do feel like I need to use a decent amount i think it even says it on the bottle after rinsing apply the restorative conditioner using a generous amount from mid links to ends and this is a very interesting type of feel because when i put it on my hair i feel like it's not um it just feels thinner in consistency like in my hand it feels thick but then when i apply it i'm like this kind of feels thin but when i style my hair it is so different i feel like it's just so soft it feels so hydrated so it's just a very unique conditioner i've really really been liking it um so i've been using these in my hair and then for my body you guys know i love my necessaire body wash i'm almost gone this one is the fragrance free one i also have the sandalwood scent why is this not focusing? Um, I also have the sandalwood scent, but this is usually my go-to sandalwood. I like to use kind of like around this time, like fall and winter time. Let me show you what that one looks like. Ruben really likes this one. This is the sandalwood you can see, very well loved. And I love Necessaire just because they are ingredient conscious. This has like glycerin and what else? Let me pull up the ingredients here. Glycerin, niacinamide, and marula oil. It's rich in vitamin C, E, omega-6, and 9s. It's just like all of these really good moisturizing, hydrating type of ingredients that make your skin feel really good. And I, I would prefer to opt for fragrance as much as I can but I am a sucker for sandalwood as well so I've been using these loving these for years you can see they're very well loved and when I was looking on Credo Beauty's website they actually have um, refills so I think when I replenish this I'm gonna get a refill instead of rebuying the bottle which is what I used to do and I when I just looked it up now to just find out what the ingredients are in here I didn't realize they had the refill option so that's awesome another necessary product that i used in the shower is the necessary body acne wash this is new to me i started using this at the beginning of the month because i i don't get acne on my face like i'll get a pimple every now and then but ever since i was in like probably like sixth grade 
I am more prone to getting like body acne on my back, on my chest, even on my legs. I've been much more active with my gym routine recently and I think that like just the sweat getting trapped in my clothes. So I started incorporating this and I feel like it's been really helpful. This has 2% salicylic acid. On the website it says clearing cleanse to treat and prevent body breakouts. It's got zinc, PCA, niacinamide, and glycerin. Um, I love when anything has niacinamide in it because then it means it's like really really hydrating and whatnot um and then lastly because i'm just obsessed with necessaire i started incorporating the necessaire body cream this just feels so heavenly on the skin i haven't been as which i actually haven't applied it yet so let me apply it now um i haven't i'm really good with my skincare my hair care like all of the things but one thing that i usually end up neglecting is like my body care like following up with moisturizer and body lotion and caring for like the heels of my feet and stuff so um I've actually kept this next to my bed because at night time I will apply it on my feet my hands my arms my legs while I'm sitting in bed and it's just kind of like a little nighttime pamper thing um, I should get another one just to keep in my bathroom or just not be lazy and go grab it from my bedroom so that I can put it all over my body because I feel like when I do my skincare I do my skincare from like my forehead down to my chest but I end up neglecting everything else and so since incorporating this body cream feels so bougie and I take care of everything and now everything is nice and hydrated and whatnot so those are the main things that I have been using that you can get them all on Credo Beauty's website I will link it down below don't forget that you can get the 20% off this weekend only I'll link each individual product in case you're curious um and yeah thank you Credo Beauty for sponsoring this portion of today's video so now let's get into the rest of my skincare so I just did my oil and my gua sha routine. I started incorporating that uh, like last week as well. And I feel like, ugh, I just feel like it really makes a difference. If I don't have my gua sha tool, which, oh, here it is. Um, looks like this, which is, it's basically, it's basically just like a lymphatic drainage tool. If I don't have that, which nor I do have it, but like if I'm doing this somewhere else, I'll just like use my fingers to just help all of that. And now I'm going to apply the rest of my face products. I'm gonna be using the Colleen Rothschild, 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 Colleen Rothschild Vitamin C Brightening Serum. I have been lacking vitamin C in my life with my skincare, so we are going to apply this. And then I have been obsessed with this duo from Colleen Rothschild. Um, they sent these to me, by the way. Um, the Extreme Recovery Cream and then the Complete Eye Cream. I have been loving these, loving these. So let me go in with the moisturizer. It's interesting because this looks and feels like it's gonna be like a nice thick, like thick cream. But once you put it on, it distributes in such a silky way, which is just such a beautiful, ooh, beautiful moisturizer. And I feel like I can use it both morning and night. It also, I feel like, helps my makeup last. I don't know if that's like a thing with it, but I have noticed that and I just feel like everything lays on really nicely. And then I started using the eye cream. This also is very similar in consistency to the face cream. It's like very thick, but then once I distribute it on my eyes, it thins out. So um, it's a great consistency for the eye area. I've got some on the lid here. I'm gonna use that. Yeah, it's really hard to describe. Like it's thick, but just silky. That's that's the better word. It's silky. Gorgeous. And now we can move on to my hair. So I'm gonna start with the Olaplex blow dry mist in my hair. And then 
in. Because I want to do like a full blown blowout, I like a little bit of extra texture. So I like the Pureology mousse. This is their volumizing mousse. So I'm just going to do a little bit. A little goes a long way. And I'm going to put this at the scalp. Let's do the Olape Olapex. <laughs> Let's do the Olaplex Bond Smoother number six. My focus has not been the best. It's rude. Um, Olaplex Bond Smoother, just a little pea size of this through the ends of my hair. And then to finish off, I'm going to use the 21 Essential Benefits Multitasking Leave-In Spray from Pureology. I've been using this for years. I love this spray. So I'm actually just going to let my hair air dry for a minute while I do my makeup. I just looked at the time and I'm like running so far behind. Lately, I don't know... I don't know what it is but I just feel like the concept of time has just shifted and like I don't know I just feel like I'm always running late and I hate that feeling I hate running late um, I just texted Amanda and let her know like I'm so behind because she's supposed to be here like now and I'm not ready so um let's so let's uh hurry the fuck up and get ready so the same look that i did yesterday is kind of like what i'm feeling like doing today so i might end up fast forwarding through some of this so it's not boring but i really loved the way that my makeup looked yesterday i didn't use a primer i used um i didn't use foundation i just did concealer and it just seemed to just look really nice so we are gonna do that today and also there's like a glare the sun is just like bouncing off my table but I don't have time to adjust it so it just is what it is i also i was planning on wearing this sweatshirt today but now i'm like having second thoughts but i also need to just like make a decision because i don't have time to like plan a different outfit i was also gonna do a blowout today but i just do not have the time so i think i'm just gonna do my normal waves Oh, that seriously looks so good. Let's do some Laura Mercier powder. I like to put this under the eyes and then I just do it everywhere now. I used to just do certain spots, but I find that my makeup just goes on really nicely when I just powder the whole thing. Hourglass diffused bronze light. little contour gonna do bone beige with shade stir get a little bit of blush I don't know the name highlighter And now for brows, which has become my favorite. I showed this in my last vlog, um, so check that out if you want more details. But I feel just so much more confident when my brows look nice. I know that's dramatic, but um, I don't know. I think especially because my expertise is in makeup. I used to be a working makeup artist. I've done tutorials. Like I've just been self-conscious about the way my brows look for so long and I don't know why I haven't been able to like get them down um but ever since doing this I've felt like they just look so natural and fluffy and I've just been loving this new routine and it's just made me feel more confident so um yeah So I did Too Faced Fluff and Hold Brow Wax. Now I'm going with Glossier Boy Brow in Brown. Like even that alone just looks so much better. I'm happy. 
Morphe and then NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. While those are drying, I'm going to go into the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Prime the eyes. For my eyeshadow, I'm just going to mix a bunch of warm and cool tone shades together from MAC. I will link the ones down below that I use. Probably going to do soft brown, maybe Cory, blackberry. Like, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll link them down below just because I don't have time to, like, pick them up and find out the name of each one because I'm running late. I'm just going to rub this shit all over. I start with, like, a beige color. Do the lid and the crease. Connect it to the nose. Bring all of those underneath the eye as well. And grab some cooler tones. Oh, balls. Grab some cooler tones, add that into the outer corner. Oh yeah, yeah. I love a warm, cool mix. Ugh, nothing I love more. Also, don't mind my sports bras. <laughs> uh, they're fresh out of the laundry and they're just hanging there to dry. Okay, works for me for now. A little highlighter to the inner corners. And the brow bone. L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, I was just thinking about how interesting it is, just like how makeup trends change and how like your own personal style changes over time. Um, like I used to just not do my makeup without false lashes. It was very easy for me to do them and it's still easy for me to do them, but I just prefer the look of mascara usually, um, except when I'm doing like a crazy, crazy smoky eye and I just don't do that anymore. Okay, so that got chunky quick. That usually doesn't happen. For my lips, I'm gonna use Oak from MAC for now just so I have a base, um, but I have hazelnut tea from Laura Mercier downstairs in my purse and when I go downstairs, I'll put that on, but I just feel naked without anything on, so. I just need a little bit of something, just a border basically. Lastly, I'm going to go into my setting spray. Mm -hmm. I love this look. And then once I add that like more warm lip, it's just going to look even better. Okay, let's go do this hair. She put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone But she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming of the day Butterflies so by the wheel even though she could knock down and never show else to talk about because all I've been talking about for like two months is how excited I am for this hair appointment. Okay, hair's dried. Turning on my curling on. This is the curling on? Curling iron. This is the one and a quarter inch barrel from GHD. Um, by the way, the top pieces, I like to like, I think you saw like how I was blowing them out. I feel like that makes 
the top layer just look really smooth. Even though I'm gonna be adding a bend to my hair, I still like to make sure the top is just really smooth because then I think it looks just nicer on my hair. So this is how I've been curling it lately. If you want like an in-depth something or other, let me know. Um, although this is gonna be very self-explanatory. I use the Paul Mitchell Hot Off the Press heat protectant spray. Start at the back and it's so quick. Okay, do a smooth and then you do a bop bop. Pull straight. Look at that little barely there curl. That's the vibe. Okay, start at the top, curl, let go, wrap around itself, pull, wrap up, pull up. And next section, it's so quick. This takes me, I think like 10 minutes total to do my hair. To curl it, maybe less honestly. Um, I'm just gonna do that to the rest. I'm gonna speed this up so I can listen to a podcast. I'm listening to The Squeeze with Taylor and Taylor Lautner, and it's the Charlie D'Amelio episode. I'm about halfway through and I'm really liking it. So um, I never really knew, well, I knew who Charlie was, but I really um, paid more attention to her when she was on Dancing with the Stars. I think it was last year. Um, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but I just really like her. She's really sweet. We're about halfway through and I just really like her. Anyway, gonna listen to this. I remember her in songs Decades old, but it doesn't matter want it to be like soft with a little bend like even down here it's too too much curl happening so I'm gonna go through kind of straighten that out and then try to bend this in 
There we go. Cool beans, basically straight. <laughs> Which is what I wanted. Okay, cute. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna go into the IGK Beach Spray. Give it some texture. the final hair look it's just very like it looks like I woke up and just maybe brushed my hair which is exactly what I'm looking for I wanted it I've just been liking it not too curly at all practically straight with just like some bend like this is maybe even too much I don't know but yeah that's my hair routine just getting dressed bedroom I couldn't decide what earrings I wanted to do I got these new like big chunky hoops that I was thinking about but I feel like with big chunky hoops I only want to wear them if my hair is up so so I have on these little hoops from Lily clasp and then this is also from Lily clasp it's just like this little um I don't know what, like a man what do you call it it just like hooks on and makes it look like your ears pierced there but it's not the name is like blanking from me. Um, and then these, which I love, and Taylor Swift was wearing very similar earrings when she went to one of the football games. Um, it was the one where she was wearing like the black long sleeve and the shorts. And I was like, are those from Miranda Fry? Because they look identical. And then this guy, which cuff, that's what it is. It's an ear cuff. So I put this on here, and then this goes in this second piercing, and that is my little earring stack. Super cute. So I got these new jeans from Abercrombie. They're the 90s relaxed. Jean, I did get them in the regular length and I'm kind of regretting it. I wish that I got the short because they are pretty long. So I might end up having to go get these um, hemmed, but they fit really nicely and I think they're really flattering. So that's what the butt looks like. Let me go put them on. Oh, what color did I get? Does it tell me on here the color? I don't think it tells me the color. Oh well. Now, I am going to put on my hazelnut tea lip liner. Yes. For my fragrance today, I'm going to use the Letta 22 Auris. I have been loving this lately I mean I've always loved it since I got it but um just especially lately I've just been in the mood for it mm. so good ready to go just gotta take the dog out let me show you the whole outfit together let me go put my shoes on I'm gonna wear my platform converse today This is the look. I feel, hopefully it's not like too much baggy all together, but I think it's cute. I feel like that's the vibes these days. <sighs> I'm like, ready for a nap? <laughs> I don't get ready all that often and like leave my house to go somewhere. So now I'm like, whew, I'm exhausted. But yeah, that is the look. We're just super chill. 
Um, I've got my new gray sweatshirt on that I got from Anita Bing that I got on uh, Revolve. Randa Fry Jewelry, Abercrombie Jeans, and my platform Converse.